All right, for those of y'all that don't want to wait for the college football playoff official announcement show that's going to air Sunday, I'm in Pacific time, and I guess most of it, it's all going to start over on the East Coast. If y'all don't want to wait, this is the analysis that y'all need to hear. So, big weekend, really big anticipatory championship weekend with the games that were played is you know specifically the top eight ranked teams were all able to be separated at some point and everybody was watching to see what would the results be and it's going to force the committee to really project who they're going to have so there was a lot at stake a lot going into today more specifically because everybody watched washington v oregon so, I'm going to give you mine, my, situ- my personal projections, because I'm literally doing this at 1050 in California, and I'm going to give the scenarios on what I think is going to happen, and then I'm going to kind of mix and match and kind of try to explain and really bring the point home on why said projection and ranking order would be the way it is. So before the week started, it was Georgia 1, Michigan 2, Washington 3, and Florida State 4, Oregon 5, and then Ohio State 6. Texas 7, Alabama 8. Okay, so everybody from 1 to 8 has either been undefeated, which is a top 4, and then the last 4, Oregon, Ohio State, Texas, and Alabama, all have one loss. Only one loss. That's the important thing, so remember that. Uh, in my opinion, okay, we're going to start with my opinion first. So Washington, this weekend, including yesterday, which was Friday, this whole championship weekend, so it started out Washington beating Oregon, right? So I believe Washington stays right where they're at, uh, number three. Good win over Oregon. No matter what, they should stay. So Saturday comes, right? Alabama beats Georgia, Texas survives, end up beating Oklahoma State, and Michigan beats Iowa, and then Florida State beats Louisville, right? In my opinion, I believe the order of the four teams should be Michigan number one, Washington number two, Georgia number three, Alabama number four. That's my opinion, right? Everyone's freaking out because they're saying, what about Florida State? What about Texas? Why is Texas staying out of the four, beating Alabama? How come Florida State goes undefeated and they get bumped out of the rankings? Here's my reasoning. Alabama, to me, has beaten the best team in the nation and the two-time defending national champions. Recency bias, I understand. Do they take that into account? That's up for them to decide. This is my opinion. I believe Alabama right now is one of the hottest teams in the country. Screw Auburn. Screw that Auburn loss to New Mexico State. Forget all that. Alabama and Auburn is a different rivalry game, and same thing could be said with the rest of the rivalry games last week, not championship week, with the conferences, but last week. I'm not taking none of that into account. Because we can nitpick and say all these teams have these really close losses to these mediocre to bad teams. I don't care about any of that. Alabama deserves to be in the top four. I'm going to have them at four. I got Florida State being bumped out because all four of these teams will smoke Florida State by 25 points, in my opinion. That's the main reason why I believe Florida State should not be in it. Their offense played like garbage. I know Louisville's defense was playing really well today. They only allowed 16 points. Jordan Travis is not playing. I get to quarterback-driven league, just like the NFL, but it's not just that Jordan Travis is hurt. It's the fact that Florida State isn't a great football team like Georgia, Michigan, and, and Alabama. So that's my reasoning why you bump Florida State out. 
Alabama's in. Alabama, Georgia, you need the SEC schools in there. I don't care if it's all about, oh, we need to see other teams. SEC, Georgia, and SEC Alabama are two of the best teams in the nation. And I think that they can handle Michigan, and I think that they could blow out Washington. So I believe all four of those teams should be involved. That's my opinion. Final. Michigan, Washington, Alabama, Georgia. That's my opinion. What I think is going to happen, this is what I actually think is going to happen. It's going to be in a few hours because they're going to, the committee is going to figure this out. Like They're talking right now, going crazy, just not knowing what the heck's going on. All these boosters and all these council members from all these conferences trying to pay under the table. You know what I'm saying? It's chaos. That's exactly what I wanted to happen, just so these people can try and earn their paycheck, really trying to make good decisions. I wanted Alabama to beat Georgia. So here's what I think is actually going to happen. I think that they're going to just bump everybody up once. Or bump, bump Georgia down, and then everyone's going to come up. I think that's what they're going to actually do. And everyone's going to really be pissed about that. I think it's going to be Michigan 1, Washington 2, Florida State 3, Georgia 4. I think that's what they're going to do. Do I like that? No, because I don't think Florida State should be in the top four. That's just my opinion. Texas, screw you guys. You know, you guys are you guys have been out of it. You're at seven, ranked seven. So they they're not even close. They're not even they're not even above Ohio State or Oregon. Well, Oregon lost, so everyone has to boot up, just move up. But I believe Ohio State's still going to be right there in front of Texas. So, I think that's what they're going to do. If they do. If the committee makes another decision apart from the four that I listed, I think they're, again, I'm going to repeat, I think they're going to do Michigan 1, Washington 2, Florida State 3, Georgia 4. I think that's what they're going to do. The other option that they can do to really freak people out is to have Texas jump in at four and have Georgia fall out. I do not see this happening, but could it happen? Sure, why not? Because Texas beat Alabama and Alabama beat Georgia. So Texas wins out in their games and throughout the regular season, 12 and one, and they're able to sneak in at four. And then everybody would move up. Georgia would be five, Alabama would be six, Ohio State seven and so on. That's the other option. Let me know what you guys think. This is gonna be kind of wild. I really hope on my prediction. I want SEC, I want Georgia and Alabama to be in the playoff. Nobody wants to see Florida State. It's not only that Florida State doesn't have their quarterback and they have a atrocious offense, it's the fact that they're just not a top four team. Washington would beat Florida State by 25 points in my opinion. Michigan would smoke Florida State. Don't even get me started about Georgia and Alabama playing Florida State. Florida State sucks. Let's just get that out of the way. Let me know what y'all think. We're going to see very soon. Check in for the next one. Peace.